heard before, so you can go, go. I can go with that. Okay, got it. Uh, my name is James Schrizer. I'm LQ from Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, been judging for a while. 2013, I think, is when I made LQ. Um, got a layers presentation for us today. It's a new creation, so I do welcome any feedback. Send it privately. Um, there may be a slip at the end where you can give some feedback there, like anonymously. So you can do either. Um, so you can go to the next one. Well, I think it's like seven. There's seven layers of the OSI network, um, seven layers of DIP. <laughs> And seven layer cakes, it seems to be a pattern. Um, we're going to do seven layers of layers on magic. So, yeah. um, the, who knows the mnemonic? The mnemonic? Mnemonic? Johnny Mnemonic? Who knows that? Uh, can you say it? Uh, like the, the mnemonic? Yeah. Uh, the three things that the magic judges do is commander complain about players and clean table trash. Yeah, that's oh. what I'm saying. <laughs> the complain about players is Say it again. Because that's the point. Uh, commander complain about players and clean table trash. The table trash the wrong is order. Oh, it's, yeah, it's commander clean table trash and complain about players. That's, okay. that's, that's the right one. Is there another one? Does anybody know another one? Okay, so we're going to kind of go in the opposite of anywhere I've ever seen anyone do a layer. I think this is an interesting way to teach it. Um, we're going to go backwards. We're going to bottom layer up and top layer. Never seen anybody do that before. If it's a bad idea, let me know. Give me some feedback. Uh, next one. Um, What's some kindly misunderstood applications of, of layers, like uh, things that players get misunderstanding of how the layers work and applying them? Like first switching power and toughness and then adding or subtracting one or the other? Yeah. That's very common, yes. Another one? Okay. Um, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I put that on there, but that's a good one too. Uh, at a, at a local shop place, a lot of players think that priority issues become layer issues somehow. I don't logic out, but common misunderstanding. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Let's go to the ones I thought of. Um, power and toughness swap, of course. Uh, I am removing abilities, so the flying. Um, there's a way that we sort that out, we'll get into that later. Um, and abilities that qualify as a dependency, which is also. Um, there's some very recognizable interactions that use dependency, but there are some rules on how to determine whether or not something has a dependency. We'll get into that. Any questions? Or? Um, very first thing we're going to work on, starting from the bottom, going up, uh, is power and toughness modification. Uh, we don't have to read it all, but basically the very last thing is the power and toughness swap. Uh, is there a good reason why that's last? Can somebody give me a good reason why we put that at the very end of all the calculations? Because you want to be representative of what the power of this was before you swap. You want everything to be calculated before the swap. Um, another way to put that, or another, or, okay, um, is any additions or subtractions have to happen all concurrently. We don't have to worry about times. Uh, when the effects happen, we don't remember any of that. We just wait until the end and we swap everything. Together. So, so this direction is <laughs> uh, reason which one? You know, I'm not really familiar with that deck. Can you tell us about that? I will find the cards for you. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. And also, the only reason is if you look at the oldest cards of Magic, like About Face, it says specifically on the card. Cards that affect power this turn will now affect the stuff as well. All that's all written out. And instead of writing that out at the time, they decided let's just put it in letter center. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Uh, next one. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I already did that. Sorry. <laughs> next one. Um, here's a here's an example. Um, this card actually operates in multiple layers. Uh, the one we're talking about is the switch power and toughness. Um, can we pick out some more layers on this card? Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, what is that? What's that modify? Uh, no, 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 uh, we'll get to that. Yeah, right. But I'm just wanting to get a couple other examples. We, we do have two. We have set in the power of toughness one four. We have modifying type um, and color. Uh, so was, this card does a bunch of things. <laughs> we can go to the next one. And I'm sorting them all out there. Um, so. Uh, it gives an ability as well, um, so it cards busy. <laughs> we can go to the next one. Um, kind of group these together. Um, they are in order. Uh, you've got seven C that affects power and toughness that doesn't use counters. You've got seven D that uses counters. I actually couldn't think of a reason why they're in this particular order as opposed to another order. Can somebody come up with a reason why? We'll not discuss it here. It's not worth our time. Okay, got it. I, I would like that. That would be something. That would be something cool. Um, most things that love power. That's not like a presentation in itself. I spent considerable time trying to think of something. So you're going to teach me something. If I tell me, if anybody else can think of it too, I'd, I'd love to hear. It. Um, most of the modifications will do this. Go to the next one. Um, two cards. Um, give me an example of this. Skull Dudgery. Skull Dudgery. Um, works on giving a bonus until in the turn. And the other one actually gives a count of both of these cards. Should be played in the stand. I like them in the stand. Yeah, Seven B, which is your correct. Um, setting it to certain power and toughness. Um, why does this need to be before we modify? I've been with the playlist. Can I speak English today? People make it so that an effect that's set to our toughness can negate things that are otherwise popped out. Yeah, if they, if they weren't before, it would get far too confusing to figure out what the ultimate end result is. So, um, layers, I think it's very interesting that way because most things are reasonably obvious why they didn't end before they be. Uh, and using the same card, we've got one four uh, is being set there. We've also got this card that does a couple of things, selling it to base power and toughness. You'll notice that frequently there's a couple of different ways to say things that do the same thing. Uh, so we've got becomes a um, one four, and we've got base power and toughness of one one. So they. It's not always the exact same language or the same uh, Also, if you get any questions along the way, if I'm running too fast. Uh, well, that one still has the comes A. It's just uh, the first one puts the power of toughness switch at the beginning, the other one puts it at the back. Yeah. So they, they're, they're, they're the kind of free form change, on the, the type change, the, the color change, the, the type change. Uh, that's interesting. I think that might actually be If you can come up with one that doesn't use becomes A, I'd be interested in seeing that as well. Um, before or the template. I think it's only switched to base power. Okay. Well, these are both from Oracle, so um, it shouldn't be. They're part of the same thing. Yeah, those are probably about the same time. And 7A um, characteristic defining abilities. Um, can somebody tell me what a CDA is? It's an ability that takes this creature's power and or toughness is this. Like something like that. Star Star usually is the thing I've seen. There are things that you don't have Star Star. There's CDA. Can somebody um, come up with maybe an example or two? Or, or did you have all of that? The, uh, uh, the Hydra, whose power toughness is uh, equal to the number of 
Uber Yeah, Uber Wall. Okay. Uber Wall. Uber Wall. Do you want? I forget what he does. What's he saying? He's got a CDA that says he's red. Okay. Yes. Cool balls of keep is red. Yep. Yeah, that's 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 like, is this like turn like, 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 green? Our color Yeah, now, now color indicators are on the card, but previously. So, um, yes. Ghostfire is colorless, right? Yes. yes. No. Yeah. But devoid of or Ghostfire is not. This does not have a color. No. So that's it's actually all. Like I didn't know if they went for Ghost uh, Ghostfire. Like, if it, that's the defining characteristic of it. They cannot make a color indicator of colorless. They tried. <laughs> <laughs> they got the people didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> so they just leave the text. This is colorless. That's why devoid is. This is colorless. Yes. Um, CDA is working all zones. Basically, if you have a card in your sideboard and it has a CDA, it is that card's calculated. You should you need that information. It's calculated. You know, it's not in play. It's in your hand anywhere it is. Um, it's also printed on the card. CDA is affect the card they're printed on. Um, they shouldn't. Uh, it could also affect like a token that's being generated. Uh, you know, like make a token that's red and blue. Um, so, copy and text changing effects could also potentially be involved in that. They don't affect characteristics of other cards. So if you have a CDA on one card, it can't, it's not a CDA of another card. It's unrelated to it. Um, if the ability is not granted by itself, it's not a CDA. Uh, so, so, sorry. <coughs> so, this layer is the reason that we use the separator, all, like the Hydra. Its power of toughness is set based on last set information, correct? So, so separator makes a token of. Damn! Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so you get a 1 1 with its ability, you get a token that it's a zombie token that's its, that's power its current toughness. power and toughness. So, it checks the power and toughness as last known. Without yes. looking at Oracle, it sounds like that's correct. That's how it's not it's not because of this Oh, it's not, it's how the card is. The, because of the specific template they use to make that card, that's the reason it functions that way. It doesn't, uh, happen because of that. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah. What is it? Uh, What's the card actually say? It's soul separator. It's, uh... Could somebody yeah. want to you make a 1-1 one, one with all the abilities of the card, and then a XX with which is the power of toughness of the card. Right. Without, without the abilities. Without the abilities. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So with yeah, the Uber so Hydra, it not checks the last known of what the Hydra was. Or it checks the current information yeah. of the Hydra. It's making a copy yeah. of it, yeah. So it's become yeah. two of the same power of toughness that Well, it's not, it's not a copy. Um, you, get a one, you get a one one. You exile. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You get a one one that's a base power. That, has a, that says it has a base power of toughness in the right. Yeah, the, the set. Uh, yeah. The, the set power of toughness uh, makes it a one one regardless, even though the, it has the text. It's power of toughness equals a gotcha. range. Because okay. that's layer B here, right? Yeah. So that's, okay. Got it. Well, that's not a layer issue. That's been accepted through a copy effect with color the Later yeah. when you get the copy of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's better. Um, okay. So, yeah, it does not set values only if certain conditions are met. So, we can go to the next one. Um, so, uh, I think we got a couple of uh, examples of this already. Let's go to the ones I picked. We talked about Terminal <laughs> Ghost. Um, I like that card, so I picked this card. <laughs> um, power and toughness equal to the number of cards in your hand. Um, so, any other questions on this? Does it count it? It's counting as power toughness while it's in your hand, right? So, does it count itself while it's in your hand? It would count itself while it's in your hand. It would no longer count itself when it's put on the stack or comes into play. Um, or goes to the graveyard or any of the other stuff. Um, much of that is for things like um, Imperial Recruiter. You can go fetch a card that has an effect that's in play, it's a power two or less. You can go fetch a card that would be power two or less. Like if you have two swamps and a nightmare or something. Um, 
Okay. So, um, yeah, why is A or B? I think we somebody has actually mentioned this, but anybody else want to come up with a stab? It's a plot, it's basically making its own base and base toughness or base power toughness that changes fluidly versus being a set number. Um, you have to have a start well, before you can have a modifier. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's a better one. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Um, Otherwise, casting turn to frog on the front of the way to do anything. Yeah. Um, so, okay. We'll go to the next one. Adding or removing abilities. Uh, we can flip them. So, some of the examples of this ability. What's, what's the first two examples of this ability? Okay. Okay. I don't actually know those are. I'm bad. Is that standard? Oh, that's like Oh, there is one. Okay. Um, okay, yep. Do you have one? I was going to say levitation. Okay, good. Okay. Anger. Anger. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the archives are whatever called like green as hex proof. All your creatures get hex proof and your, your opponents okay. can't have hex proof. Yeah, the finality is the one for death touch. Okay, okay. okay. Somehow I didn't remember those cards. <laughs> They're really absurd. There are 29,000 cards in that. We're never used. Um, okay. So levitation. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> half flying <laughs> and mighty leap. Uh, creature gets two two and gains flying until the end of the turn. Also, found it interesting they do seem to have two different templates for any remote abilities. Um, one will be temporary, and the other one is Yeah? That, that may be a pattern that completes through all. In fact, if anybody knows of an example that doesn't match that pattern, let me know. I'll, I'll be curious. Um, if you don't know me, I like interesting things like this. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, if you go with the next one, am I going to? What what number are we on right now? What slide number are you on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm fast or slow. Um, I think I'm about right. Um, okay. Lose this fly. Grounded, uh, and all creatures lose all abilities and have a base power touch. Um, both of those. Hmm? Yeah. I didn't actually use the, the quintessential one. I tried to go for different. Um, so, if we can jump to the next one. Um, how do we apply more than one ability to determine the result on this? How do, how do we know what the end result is? I'm going to assume that you add and then subtract because typically a magic can't always overrule can't. Okay. Like, you know, if it's a, like draw a charge or it's going to be a part of the same thing, you can't draw a charge or it's Okay. Because we usually have this. Okay. So I would imagine that's the same way with, like, they can't just the last one fly. Okay. Let's ponder on that. We've got a couple more. Time stamps. Yes! Uh, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> so yours were time stamps. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, like, humility, damn levitation, and there would be one more flying. Yeah. If, now, what again? Which, which I delivered? Humility, damn levitation. Yeah. Um, you would have one more time. Yeah. Um, we can go to the next. So, a whole lot of things about timestamps. That's, that's an interesting, long subject. Um, permit was cast. You'll check the time it was cast. <clears throat> Token was put into play. Um, or the time the spell was cast, if it's not permanent. I'm doing them out of order, I guess. But the order matters. And you're, you're keeping track of when they were time stamps. Kind of in your head, you're not typically going to write those down, actually. You should be able to remember, between the two of you, which one came first. Um, yeah, and then together. The time of the last attachment for an aura, if you move an aura, from, if you have some effect that moves this spell from one creature to another, or if the aura itself has some way to move it, 
Um, it's the new time it was attached to a creature. Same thing for equipment and fortification, which you do an equip uh, effect on those. It's the time it was last equipped is the current timestamp. Are there any rules that are applied before timestamps? Like before we we address the order in which the effects are applied. Can somebody name an uh, example of something that will be applied before that? Not your different year upgrade that. Something that says something can't happen. Uh, I think that would be more on game rules relation, maybe. Um, well, like you, for, sorry. Oh. Uh, I just want to give an example of that. I'd love that example. Um, archetype of Courage. Uh, creatures you control have first strike, and creatures your opponents control can't have first strike. I see. Okay. Um, does that affect whether or not the first strike gets granted in the first place, or does that can't happen? I believe they say you can't have or gain, don't they? Yes, it can't have or gain for sure. Okay. So they never, so it doesn't come in the timestamps because they never actually gained it because they can't have it. Yeah. Uh, so it says lose, they can't. Yeah. So the lose would go into timestamps. <laughs> But uh, if they gained it later, they wouldn't be able to actually gain it. So, um, not the primary example I was going for. Is, can somebody else come up with another one? I'm not 100% sure if this is right, because this is the thing that's never quite clicked in my mind. But the first thing that came to my mind was for Morgan Blood Money. Okay. Yeah, we're going to, we got a, at least a couple minutes on that. <laughs> that's also not the exact. Yeah. One I was hoping. How about well Goblin Chieftain Humility? I was, yeah, I was, well, I was What's saying, Goblin Chieftain do? Other know. Goblins. It's a Goblin, a creature that has other Goblins you control have plus one, plus one, and and gain haste. And, and have haste. Have haste. Okay. So that and would. You have a humility in play, <laughs> which means you have a dependency. Yeah. Okay. We'll get to that later. <laughs> um, what about like uh, Blood Moon and. Okay. So, like, if I play Blood Moon, then, you, then I guess Spread Easy is on my way to take an island. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. So let's go, that's super that's specific. Specific. Let's, let's go to the next one here. It is very. CDAs are applied first. So, um, it's kind of what I was going for. <laughs> um, we'll get to the Blood Moon shenanigans in a moment. Uh, then all other things are applied in Tamsin order. So, if one of the things that we we're worrying about is a CDA, we apply that first, and then we deal with timestamps for the rest of the stuff. Um, and can somebody be real awesome and give me a water? Please. <laughs> I have the oracle for the archetypes. It's creatures you, like, aggression the rebel. Creatures you control have trample. Creatures your opponents control lose trample and can't have or gain. Okay, cool. So, so they lose that. it, can't have it, or gain it. Awesome. Like the, you know, it's like a okay. I don't know if you already said it. What's CDA again? Uh, characteristic defining ability. Thank you. Um, turns out talking takes water. Uh, so if we can go to the next one. Um, so I think we may have covered this already. Let's we go to the next one. Dependency. <laughs> More on this in layer four. Um, next one. So we're on five color. Um, all color changing effects happen in this layer. Um, what's some examples of this? I'll turn to five earlier. Makes it uh, The laces. Yep, thought lace, chaos thought lace, 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 lace etc. They're not played very many decks, so I didn't actually put them in the, in the scenario. Most of the players things. <laughs> What's Wisp do? Uh, it's a one drop on the for sure. What color color is a Okay. Cool. Relevant. Uh, really Yeah. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Play a lot of Lexi. Uh, Imperial Recruiter. <laughs> so, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I picked Grand Architect because I used to play that in a standard deck back in the day. Um, and all creatures are black. Um, so. 
there are a number of cards throughout Magic that, that mop that color. Uh, and color changing effects are applied. Um, why? Why do we have color before other things? Oh, yeah. oh, could be based on color. Yeah. Like the one from the previous page, black creatures are, was it plus one, plus one? Yeah, all black creatures are plus one, plus one. Yeah. So you modify the colors. It's nice to have the color change before you have things that key off the color change. Um, so, you know the next one. Um, all creatures are black, and black creatures get plus one, plus one. So that's exactly uh, a good reason why they're in this order. If they weren't in that order, things would be confusing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're going to play the blue diamond and the dark style, it would be a possible damage. Yeah, because the color effect happens first. Um, so any creature is not already black is currently black, or as far as the game is concerned, is black. Uh, and black creatures get plus one, plus one. Um, so, next one. Type changing. This is going to be one of the longer ones. Um, there are a lot of effects that change type. <laughs> We've talked about a couple so far. Blood Moon. We go to the next one. Um, name, on this particular card, name what the type is, the subtype, and the supertype. Who wants? Name one. Uh, okay. Uh, can somebody else? <coughs> okay. And yeah. Um, I think in all modern cards, they're kind of format in that same format. I don't know of any exceptions to that. We can go to the next one. Um, so, name another card that changes type. Uh, yeah. hmm? Liquid milk. Okay, changes the artifact. Yeah. Yeah, it makes things artifact. Another. Nissa uh, Nissa turns your land yeah. into elemental. Well, that adds an ability, though. Right. Well, it does change type because they they're <laughs> elemental. They're creature el elemental creature types that are still white. Okay. What's that do? Uh, makes, uh, creature and everything and gives them monster monsters. Okay. Have so we got the last one? Can somebody give a super type? Uh, uh, Playline of Singularity. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Melting. What's that do? Melting is uh, all lands are no longer snow. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> and then they're super tough. If you think of it, send me that. I like that. <laughs> That's what it is. That's awesome. There's a rhyme feather owl that makes things snow. Okay. <laughs> I played that in the community. It's pretty fun. Can we go to the next one? The dragon. I got it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> erosion. Oh, boy. What's it do? Planes? Conversion. Okay. Conversion. Sorry. Conversion. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Uh, all mountains are planes. Glaciers. Is it? Glaciers. No, that's glaciers. 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 Glaciers also does the same thing. Yes. Okay. It's all islands are planes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, glaciers are all mountains are planes as well. They both do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's conversion. Vinegar. Oh. So that's that's a. Like a difficult to pull off Armageddon, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Living Plane is one, changes um, type, makes everything a creature. Um, Blood Moon changes subtype, and someone picked Leyland Singularity, changes everything uh, to Legendary. So, BDH cards. Yes. Um, so name is well known dependency. I think we've said that before, right? Someone said paint or uh, blood moon, herbal. That's a well known dependency effect. If we can go to the next one. Um, Herborg, each land is a swamp in addition to its other types, and non basic lands are mountains. Um, so, getting on to the dependencies, we'll hop over to the next one. Um, 
the pins on applies must apply in the same layer. Um, so you aren't necessarily dependent on something if there are two effects in two different layers. Um, applying one would change all the other effects working. Um, and neither of them are CDA abilities. Can somebody tell me uh, which is dependent of which and why? So if I got a better reason for why? Blood Moon is attempting to remove uh, the text of the Anybody else? Those are. Well, that's part of it. But one thing you have to remember that you probably should cover, that probably needs to cover is if you assign an object a basic land type, as part of the type changing effect, you lose all all, 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 all previous abilities and then gain the ability to tap for mana of the appropriate type. Okay. That's part of changing a subtype to a land, a specific basic land. That's something you just need to know. Uh, it's a ability removal, but that doesn't happen in layer six. This will actually happen in layer four. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And there are exceptions for that. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Um, so, actually, I guess I didn't have a slide. I thought I had a slide for the previous. So, let's go. Uh, can you go back? Hit the back button. Left arrow. arrow. <laughs> so, what is the net result of this? I think someone said it, but uh, let's. Okay. Does anybody disagree with that? Oh. They just become the mountains. Does anybody disagree with that? Um, I should have a slide that says yes. <laughs> I forgot that slide. Um, say that again. Legendary mountain that is not Okay. Which are other ways to No, nothing is Unless it's a swamp by itself. Basic is a super type. Right. Yeah, I was just saying that. Overall, the status is the same. Basic lands are the same. Okay. Yes. I didn't hear the first part. Um, this is another all creatures are black, and then all lands are 1-1 one, one creatures are still lands. Um, so, uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. Is there a dependency here? Uh, is there a dependency here? No. Okay. Um, is there an interesting thing about, um, <coughs> the different layers here? It just gives them a color idea. So, because it happens before, they now, the lands are actually no longer colorless. Um, we can go to the next one. Text changing abilities. Um, What's some good examples of them? They're not a lot. There's something on the order of 35 or so. Don't every card is. with overload. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> every every card with overload. Um, yeah. Serum yeah. Sorcerer, what's he say? He's the one that changes. Uh, it's a creature, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm I think so I'm right. You make a, another one. example? I don't think I remember the exact name of the card. It's like Spiny Jack or Spiny Jack or something like that. Magical Hack. Magical Hack. Magical Hack. Magical yes. Hack. That's, a, that's a quintessential original answer. I didn't I didn't go with that one. I uh, tried to go with some newer cards. Uh, but that is a very common example. What the frequent one you see is Overload. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody plays Overload. Yeah. That's a relatively new one, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't remember the name of the card, but it's a gate crash. And it says you can change all instances of a, one, of a color. It's from a of thing to okay. a different word. So I think I like, use that card. If you say slag, <laughs> like if it's like, it's like the, it's the darkest ever. Really that might be what it's called. Yeah. 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 I may have, I may have used that or I may have swapped it out. I don't remember. Um, so, Museum Moore's Overload uh, changes target to each. <laughs> Um, color and subtop, I use this one because it does both in one spell. You can choose 
between the two. Uh, artificial evolution changes the creature type from one creature type to another. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot of variety in how this works, but there are not a ton of cards that implement this. Uh, we can go to the next one. So, this is another of why the layers matter. Uh, I'm trying to give you an example of that. Um, so, so, anybody want to give the answer as to why the layers matter? Final round then. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't apply advice well, like first, this time if you don't apply text, change effect first, then everything will become a swamp, and then your text would be added. That wouldn't make any sense. Okay. So we have to do it in order to make the game sort of make sense. Um, okay, so control. Um, We've got Admiral Beckett, Brass, gain control of a creature. Um, we've got a enchantment, you control. Slightly different wording, probably is, uh, probably is true, like we've mentioned before, that effects that last until the end of the turn may be worried one way, and you know, continuous effects may be worried another. Yeah. Um, because the text has changed before the type has changed. So it would become what you change the text to be. So it would make everything happen. If you change the verb to island, it would, it would make everything happen. Yeah. And the reason we have them in that order, um, so we have to determine that first before we can determine what well, we're making it. That's because there's three applies to smaller. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so that must have been already applied to the effect by the time we get around to layer four, which is modifying the time. Um, so, go to the next. Um, so, you control and chain creature. I had a hard time finding a reasonable example of this. Um, Overload, return each non line permanent you don't control to its own hand. So you have your opponent's creature and you flush everything else back to their hand. But you keep that because you currently are controlling it. Uh, it is an opponent's creature, but they do not control it. No, he was waiting into it. He's like, Do you want to use it on your own? No, I can't. Go next. Copy. Um, so, some examples of copy. Uh, Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of target creature or artifact creature enchantment or land. Uh, replicate is an example of copying things on the stack. Can somebody tell me why this is so far up on why this is the very first thing we're doing? Someone mentioned you have to start somewhere before you you are copying a whole lot of effects that can change every other possible layer. Um, so if you make a copy of a card, it could have things that are touched upon in every single layer if it's a really complex card. So you have to have a starting base. What do we do if we have multiple copy effects? What if, what if you copy a creature that's copying another creature? Just the copy. So like you clone uh, like the pack rat. It's a pack rat as well. Then you clone the clone before you clone the pack rat. Yeah. And why is that? Because um, copy effects copy oh, everything that's printed on the part of your copy. Yeah, but uh, how do we know what the net result is. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like easily just showed, like, showed on like, a uh, like if I play a Phantasm on a um, it just says, like, it's like, a okay. the card, everything else. Yeah. 
Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> we, we know what it is because we know the timestamp of the effects to know what the current copy is, if there are multiple copy effects. Yeah. Oh, if you put an example of this up here, but what about with cards that say what is it? make a copy and also gain accessibility? Um, okay. So is that all function within the copy zone too? The since you're copying that brings up some copy, copy but it's gain accessibility. I guess um, not much time. Not much time. <laughs> Um, yeah, in the QA. That brings up something I did not put in the slides, um, that once something has happened, uh, if a card effect starts happening, it can affect future layers, even though things may have changed. So that, that's something where you're adding and removing an ability, even though maybe that ability um, but it usually doesn't really say it gains this ability. Well, the only answer to that is progenitor mimic. Yeah. Progenitor mimic, if this card is not a token. So it creates token. It, it creates a token. If it's not the token, the, the non token copy, the non token version well, makes another copy. The token copies don't because they don't gain that ability. That's what I'm saying. So, but it would. Yes, if it didn't have the token, if it didn't have the token, have the token cause on it, then they would all. Well, it's like one little black mimic. 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 Well, I think so. Like a mint, like you have a cloning something. I think it works. It would also be gaining the gen mimic. So you have to make the token itself. You would have two regenerative mimics cloning the same thing. Basically, you have to copy it. Let's let you finish the copies. Let's let you finish the copies. I think I think we mostly are. So we'll get back to that. I don't know how many other pages I have, but. That we haven't already done. Uh, we covered that, I think, as well. Um, and I think we mostly covered that. Make sure the copyable values. I'm done. Okay. So, um, say that again so that everybody can hear. If you progenerate mimic a creature, and so you're getting a token every turn from that, and then you use a clone on the progenerate mimic, which has that ability on it, then the new clone would also have that ability making it effectively. Yes. You make two tokens, yeah. Because it's, it's, not, a token. it's not a token. Right. It's an actual card that is. There's a thing that's called, I jokingly call copy plus, where you copy things, but you kind of modify it, but it's still in the copy layer, but you change up little bit variables. Example, for actually minimal. It's a copy plus a dance artifact. Yeah. Pretend it's a copy, it also has this ability. Fantasmalage, it's a copy, it's also an illusion, it has this ability. Yeah. All those are still considered a copy effect. Copy effects can have exceptions, or like, copy, except it's a 7-7. Seven seven. Yeah. All those things are copies with exceptions, and those are still considered copy effects, and therefore are copyable by other copy effects. And all those things still take place in the copy layer. Yes, that also happens in the copy layer. Also, for example, if you, let's say, it's copy a charm or good, except it's a 7-7. Seven seven. There's a rule there saying, if there's an except for a power and toughness, ignore any abilities that say you set a power and toughness. So if you copy a charm or good, except it's a 7-7, seven seven, it's a 7-7. Seven seven. It doesn't have the charm or good power and toughness ability. We ignore that. Because it says, except it's a 7-7. Seven seven. <laughs> Any other questions? So how is uh, like yeah. the ability different than like, say you copy a code uh, yeah. that yeah. that yeah. like my yeah. leap? So you're saying yeah. that yeah. 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 ability yeah. 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 Well, so my leap effect. Where, where does my leap effect? My leap effects in layer six to get five, yeah. and layer seven C to get plus and plus two. Those are copy effects. So those that's why those are copy. Yeah. Those are in layer one. So that's why we don't keep those. Yeah. Co copy effects. I'm just saying, like, how do you how do you know reading a card what layer it's in? Because uh, the wording is they both say they gain X. Yeah. It will be able to say becomes a copy and the word accept. Usually you'll see those two things. So for example, Fantastic Lynch is as this enter battlefield, you may choose a creature, it becomes a copy of this, except it has. Then when you say except it has or accept something, that's when you know it's a copy plus thing, yeah. where those things are also copies. Except, okay. except it is an illusion. Yeah. Well, like, and the other is it, is it the same thing if it says it becomes a copy of blank and gains this? Like with the, um, from back to the day, Busy of Trying to Look at? Where it has the ability. Yes. Those one blue yeah, yeah. red becomes Correct. a copy of an artifact and has this ability. 
Yes. Yeah, those all, are all those are modifying how to copy. The copy yeah. copies are basically Xerox the, the yeah. original yeah. card. Yeah. You have a version of that. Yeah. So yeah. What's on the card itself? It doesn't matter if any effects have happened to the card. Right. Like you've done yeah. Mighty Leap on it. You don't get a copy of the Mighty Leap. You get a copy of the card without the Mighty Leap. Copy accept. And copy accept is basically saying. Kind of modify the original thing before I take the photograph. Our parents get this thing. It's a Photoshop. Yeah, makes a token that is a copy, but it's a four four regardless. God Fair is gives us a very weird case. <laughs> yeah, it's in your, it should, it, well, it's copy except, it's a copy except, but then there's other CDAs that also plays with copy effects weirdly. As well. That's a that's a yeah. that's, that's isn't that, I know that's in judging for the win, isn't that? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a judging for the win article about Godfarer's gift, especially well, whenever you're dealing you're with, with clones and Godfarer's gift. I think that's in your that's in yeah, we we talked about some similar stuff. I don't think Black Girl's gift was uh, in the article, but there are some similar situations that you might need. Okay, so there's the first two people that we converted Mana Forest. Okay. That was an actual. <laughs> that, but um, there's oh, there's other problems when it comes to that one. Example, because it it looks like a copy except, but in a weird way it isn't. Because not there is yeah, people with that. There's one thing that happens before you apply layers, which is what is the base values of this object. Godfarer's gift defines the base values of the object based on the copy, but it's not an actual copy with value. So, for example, if you Godfarer's gifts a clone, then and then you copy a creature, and you copy a creature, you get the power and toughness of the cloned creature. You don't get the form. It does, that seems really weird, but the problem, you have to imagine Godfarer's gift defines what the base card is, and it puts 4-4 four, four in the bottom, just like how clone has a 0-0 zero, zero yeah. bottom. It's very weird, but that's where it's defined. It's defining it in the before copy in the what is the base value, which player, you could, you which could, is slightly different. Which you could put it, you could put kind the, of awkward. You could put the God Pharaoh's gift on the battlefield with no other creatures on the battlefield, and it survives because it's a four. Correct. Okay. But <laughs> if you God Pharaoh's gift a clone and you copy some other creature it that's gains smaller than a four four, then it's going to be smaller than a four four. It just it's very unintuitive, but that's it's, how it's yeah, defined. because the clone. It makes a copy of the card. You exile the card, you make a copy of the card uh, that is a token. It enters the battlefield. It has a preset power and toughness, so if there is no other creature to copy, it's a 4 4. But clone says make a copy of another creature, it becomes that creature. So you apply the copy effect that says, hey, I'm now a Scarab God. Now I'm a Scarab God. That copy effect overrides the. It's not a full copy except, but we kind of treat it as such, which defines the base value of the. Yeah. Copy is Layers of fun. I don't like standards. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should have put more time on copy effects. <laughs> copy effects is its own lunch. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. It is its own lunch. <laughs> Do you liken that to timestamps because the copy effect happens after the fact that you're bringing it into play from Godfarer's? So if you... Well, if you put it to timestamps, they're both at the same time you're bringing it over. That's why you don't play timestamps. Is it 6-4 or is it 4-4? Depends on what you do. Anything else? Because we're after time. So the definition of a dependency is that anything besides... They both would prefer the same layer or sub layer. Is there something else to that? It has to be in the same layer. Um, one has to affect how the other. But it becomes a 4 4 4 4 And then you got to have a No matter what you bring in, it's a 4 4 Yeah, if there is no dependency, you go to the times. And it can't be a CDA. Or if you have a dependency where one card depends on the other, and this card depends on that one. Yes. Don't go into dependency loops. That's why. I didn't put that in the scenario. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Do not get your life in limb. Don't get your life in limb. Like, I literally did just give you a limb. Does it consider limb in limb? Like, the players go, I don't know if it's limb in limb. I don't know if it's limb in limb. Let me know. Most of the time, 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 most of the time,